Hi guys, welcome to Sharon's Tutorials. If you're new to using Google Sheets, it might take you a little while to get used to where things are located, especially if, like me, you've been using Excel for absolutely ages. So whenever I create a new spreadsheet in Google Sheets, the chances are I need to include a date somewhere within it. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the date format to one that you prefer. So I'm using this invoice that I set up on a previous video. So I'll include a link to that at the end of this video and in the description below, if you want to see how to create an invoice from a template. So for example, in this cell here, G13 is the invoice date. You can see it just says 26th of the 11th, even though I've put in the formula bar here, I've put in the full date 26th, 11, 2020 but it's only showing 2611 here. So to change the format of the date, you go into the, the toolbar up here, go onto the 123 box where it says more formats, click on the drop down arrow and a shortcut would be just to click date here. So you've got the day, the day, the month and the year, and that will change for you. If you don't want that particular format and you want a different one, you click into there, go down to more formats at the bottom here, and more date and time formats. So this opens up the custom date and time formats options. So you'll see here, you've got the day, the month and the year, because that's what's selected at the moment on the cell that I've just um, come from. So you basically just scroll down through the list and choose whichever format you prefer. We will go with this one. Now you can see it's changed to the month with AUG in brackets, telling you that it's gonna be a three digit abbreviation of the month. And here it's got the four digits for the actual year and the day is just a single digit. If you click on these small arrows to the right of each of these, you'll have even more formatting options. So if you click on the day, you can have it with a leading zero, so if zero 05. If you have the day typed out properly, then you can have it as an abbreviated day of the week or a full version. And if you actually wanted to remove any of them, then you just click delete here. Again, with the month, you can have the month numerical with a zero or without a zero. You could have the full month name abbreviated to three, or even just the first letter of the month. And again, you can just delete it if you don't want, actually want it here. And the year, you can have it as a two digit year or a four digit year. So I'm going to put it as a two digit year. And then when you're happy with the actual formatting, you just click apply. And you'll see here, the invoice date is now the 26th of November, 2020. And that's all there is to it. Google Sheets is a big learning curve, but once you're used to where things are positioned, you'll soon get the hang of it. I hope you found that quick tip useful. If you want to watch my video on how to create an invoice in Google Sheets from a template, then the video should be appearing somewhere now. And I'll put the link to, the, to it in the description anyway. Please give this a thumbs up if you like this video. And I hope you found it helpful. And thanks for watching. And until next time, happy learning.